sheriff's deputy running into a fire scene where two homes were engulfed in flames. Good evening. I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. The family of an elderly couple who got out safely credits that deputy with saving their lives. Eight on your side's Ryan Hughes joins us live from the scene. Ryan, this story just continues. Good evening to you both. It's been around two weeks since the two homes that sat right here were destroyed by fire. As you can see, this is all that's left. And for the first time, we're seeing what first responders faced. 6 a.m. on November 2nd, Pasco County Deputy Noah Yanzer is on patrol in Hudson when the call comes in. He advised the neighbor's house is on fire now, too. I was unsure if the neighbors are inside. Lights and siren go on. Yanzer races to Driftwood Drive. What he sees is shocking. Five multiple houses are engulfed at this point. Fire jumped from one home to the other. High winds fueled the flames. Inside one of the homes, Brittany Galvin's grandparents, Mercedes. Lopez and Ron Allward. That's my grandfather that you saw in the video, and then the woman you see the cop go, you know, the deputy go back and get. That's that's our Mimi. That's Mercy. So she was inside the entire time. This is the moment the deputy gets Lopez and her dog to safety. Hey! Hey! What? Okay, go! Go! It in your side sent the video to Galvin, who couldn't believe what she watched. I don't know how they got out. We're just so thankful. Thankful that amid the chaos, confusion, and intense flames, her grandparents walked away. I I've never seen a fire that big in my life. I, I still feel like I'm in some type of movie. It was crazy. I cried the entire time watching the movie. I, I or the movie. See, I say the movie. I cried the entire time watching the video. I. It was way more severe than me or anybody in my family knew. A family that sees the survival as a gift from a higher power. I don't know how they got out. Um, it is a miracle. It's nothing short of a miracle. There, there's no given way other than God that they got out of there. And back here live, a person in the other home that burned down was flown to Tampa General Hospital on the morning of the fire with severe burns. The couple we just showed you hopes to rebuild right here. Coming up tonight at 6, see what happened when that deputy went to that home during this fire situation. That story at 6. We're live in Hudson, Pasco County. I'm Ryan Hughes, 8 on your side. A home belonging to Snowbirds in Hernando County was destroyed early this morning. Fire crews were called to the house on Oak Gren Road in Brooksville just after 2.30 a.m. The cause of this fire is under investigation. COVID-19 testing locations that shut down because of Hurricane Ada reopened today, and people on both sides of the bay found some pretty long lines. Pinellas County officials pointing to several reasons for the lines, including a surge in the number of people who are testing positive. Eight on your side's Jeff Patterson is joining us live from Tropicana Field tonight, and and it's it's closed now, right, Jeff? It's over for today. Good evening, Keith. Well, yeah, they closed up around 2.30 today. It's gated, locked up. They will reopen here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., but lines are expected to be long again. I've never seen a line like this before at this location. Ian Tuma is a regular at the Tropicana Field COVID-19 testing location. We throw small private events, and one of the safety precautions we take is that all of our cast and crew is tested. So we're here at least once a week. He says he's never seen it like this. The guy said an hour wait, which seems kind of long. Patrick Oliphant is here for the first time and is getting tested just to be safe. Just wanted to be safe as things are kind of getting worse, it seems like. Uh, my grandparents live in Daytona, so I got to like help them out and, you know, don't want to be the guy who gives it to their grandparents. Pinellas County officials tell Eight on Your Side there are many reasons the lines for testing are getting longer. And I know we've seen nationally and locally their percentage of positivity has increased. Some people may seek other testing locations to avoid the lines. But before you go somewhere else, be aware not all locations offer free testing. No, it's not free necessarily everywhere. Um, do check with each site to be sure. Um, call ahead of time and Different tests are different. So if you're looking at an antibody test at some place, that, that may have a cost. Um, if you're looking at a rapid test in different locations, that may have a cost. 
So again, this testing location reopens tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And tests are free here, but Pinellas County officials strongly suggest that you check online before you go someplace so that you know what kind of tests are being offered and if there is a cost associated with that. Live in St. Petersburg, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side. Ten days after the election, the final toss-up states are being called in the presidential race. President-elect Joe Biden is building on his electoral college victory with projected wins in Arizona and Georgia. NBC projects President Trump as the winner of North Carolina. It takes 270 electoral college votes to win the White House. The final tally puts Biden at 306 and Trump at 232. Tonight, an update on those two armed guards at a St. Pete early voting site. Eight on your side's political team has obtained a police report that says the pair was hired by the Pinellas County Republican Party. Initially, election officials said the guards claimed they were hired by the Trump campaign, a claim the campaign denied. The St. Pete police report shows a Republican volunteer, as well as the male security guard, told officers they were hired by the Pinellas County GOP. Eight on your side has reached out to the security guards, their firm, the Pinellas Republican Party, and the sheriff's office. And we'll have much more on the story coming up tonight at 6. He was killed very violently, and whoever killed him, you know, we need to find that person and get them behind bars before they hurt anybody else. That is a warning from the Polk County Sheriff's Office. Tonight, two teenage brothers are one in a connection with the murder of a 21 year old man found dead in an orange grove. Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva spoke to the victim's mother. She has the latest details on the ongoing case. Danny Frazier was last seen at this Wawa in the early morning hours of November 4th. The sheriff's office says whatever happened between then and when his body was found was both brutal and violent. Something had to be wrong. Uh, that's not like him. Leslie Frazier knew almost instantly her son was in danger. It was November 4th. Danny Frazier worked the overnight shift at a Publix warehouse in Lakeland. Danny did not come home, so I got nervous because he always be home. Investigators say Frazier was last seen at this Wawa on 98. Six days later, a 911 call. Somebody found a body in Lake Wales. Mr. Frazier was brutally murdered and then left in an orange grove. The Polk County Sheriff's Office is looking for Angel and Jojo Lobato. Deputies say they were pulled over in the victim's car in Flagler County last Friday night. Just stay right there. Do not move. Body camera video obtained by Eight on Your Side shows deputies handcuffing Angel Lobato. His brother ran away and was never caught. Sheriff's Office, come out or you're going to get dog fixed. Flagler County deputies drove Angel Lobato to a nearby motel after consulting with local law enforcement. At that time, they told us they really had nothing on the individual that we said, uh, you know, was the passenger in the vehicle. Uh, based on that and the fact that we had nothing locally, you know, we could not hold them. Now, officials believe somebody is hiding the brothers. I want them to give them up, and I want everyone involved to be to pay, prosecuted for it. The sheriff's office believes the Lobato brothers are in Lake Wales. If you have any information on their whereabouts, you're urged to call detectives, or you can make an anonymous tip to the Heartland Crime Stoppers. Reporting in Polk County, I'm Stacey De Silva, 8 on your side. A park in Sarasota remains closed to the public tonight because of the damage done from Tropical Storm Ada. Humphreys Park and the South Jetty Walkway in Venice both sustained significant erosion damage. Officials say the area is not safe for public use at this time. And we've been telling you about another system brewing in the Caribbean. Chief Meteorologist Steve Jervie is here with the details on Tropical Storm Iota. That's right. It was a tropical depression. Now it's a tropical storm as of 4 o'clock from the National Hurricane Center. Moving west-southwest at 3. Again, you can see a Venezuela and a uh, Central America and Mexico here. So this is likely not going to affect our weather, but it is remarkable to see that this storm could potentially become a major hurricane. Quite a bit of convection on the southern side there. 40 mile per hour winds. There's the forecast track well south of Cuba and heading, unfortunately, into an area that was hit pretty hard by Ada into Central America. America, portions of Mexico potentially and that last forecast position is a 120 mile per hour winds you can see these forecast computer models do exactly that to reassure you it looks like uh, right now we're working a cold front into the area that builds the ridge and helps to hold these systems farther south unfortunately for those folks in Central America more on your weekend forecast football too coming up and our goal is to in the end enhance the overall level of ocean literacy amongst the entire population a groundbreaking ceremony today at the Moat Marine Lab and Aquarium for a new state-of-the-art facility on the Sarasota Manatee County line. Moat Sea is a science education aquarium that will one day serve students across the area. Our Sarasota Bureau reporter Allison Henning is at Nathan Benderson Park with a closer look at what sets this aquarium apart from the rest. 
Over the last 12 months, staff at Moat have been working closely with the Sarasota and Manatee County School Districts to integrate the three STEM labs that will be inside this facility into the public education system in our area. With construction now ready to begin, the northern end of Nathan Benderson Park will soon transform into this 110,000 square foot aquarium. Leaders from across Sarasota and Manatee counties coming out for the groundbreaking ceremony of Moat C, a new site far more accessible just a few hundred yards away from I-75. Having this out here is going to be a huge benefit, not just to the local communities, but to area schools, to people traveling to the state of Florida. Construction alone is expected to have a $280 million economic impact, bringing in $28 million per year once up and running. From this map, you can see there are several aquariums across the Bay Area. Eight on your side asked Moat's president and CEO, Dr. Michael Crosby, what makes this one stand out from the rest? Our aquarium is really an informal science education center. Um, it is where we translate and transfer the science, the innovative science that Moat scientists are doing all around the world into the exhibits and the stories that we tell. Once this aquarium is up and running, Moat's current location on City Island will turn into a research facility. This project is expected to be complete sometime in 2023. Reporting from Nathan Benderson Park in Sarasota County, Allison Henning, 8 on your side. Still ahead, snow in Tampa will tell you where it's expected and why this has nothing to do with the forecast. I don't know who you talk to, but I want their number. <laughs> also had a local disabled veteran is thanking Better Call Bankin after getting back a benefit that was wrongfully cut. Year after year, storm after storm. We're on the front line, helping the Tampa Bay community. Getting some wind gust readings. And they are ferocious. Incredibly strong gusts. This hurricane season is extremely active, even historic. And you can trust that the Max Defender 8 weather team is here to keep you prepared. There's a major land falling hurricane. Major category three. Extreme wind warning. Time to be prepared, not to panic. Stay informed. Stay safe. With Max Defender 8, always on your side. It's the Rooms to Go Holiday Sale. Right now, get the style and comfort of this leather reclining sofa and stationary love seat. Just $16.95 or $29 a month interest free. In your choice of colors, shop and save during the Rooms to Go Holiday Sale. The amazing thing about Morgan & Morgan is that not only are we the largest personal injury law firm in America, we're also very much a local law firm. And our office right here in your town, you will find dedicated, hardworking neighbors of yours who are committed to fighting for you, for the people. And as members of your community, we share your values and are available whenever you need us. We're from your city. We're in your city. We are for the people. Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're all watching our health closely. If you're Medicare eligible with diabetes, heart disease, or COPD, ask yourself if your current health coverage is care you can trust. My Medicare supplement cares about collecting their premiums. What if you could enjoy more benefits and pay no premium? Discover Optimum Healthcare, a Medicare Advantage plan with special needs plans specifically designed to treat your condition. Imagine getting oxygen and supplies at zero cost. What about diabetic supplies? Those are zero cost too. Most plans include comprehensive dental with deep cleanings, vision, and much more. Get up to $1,500 a year in over-the-counter items. And some plans refund up to $1,735.20 in your Social Security check per year per member. See why Optimum has been rated a top plan in Florida for quality of care. Call 1-855-867-1353. Learn about our safe consultation options. Complete a presentation and get a $10 gift card with no obligation to enroll. As personal injury lawyers, our job is to protect the client's interest against the insurance company. We immediately jump in there and start doing the investigation, start protecting the evidence, work together with the client as a team to protect them. Save on tool automation and more store-wide yeah. at the pinch -a penny 4-Day Winter Sale this weekend only. Save big on your perfect mattress during the Rooms to Go Holiday Sale and bring home the comfort of an incredible queen mattress for just $4.95. Shop the best brands, Serta, Sealy, or Beautyrest for just $4.95. Right now during the Rooms to Go Holiday Sale. 
Closed captioning is sponsored by Cole Pepper Curland. Auto accident? Call Cole Pepper Curland. Aggressive, tenacious. Cole Pepper Curland. Eagle 8 HD coverage is brought to you by your Suncoast Hyundai dealers. Visit your local dealer today or shop by Hyundai.com. You're watching News Channel 8 at 5 with Jennifer Lee, Keith Gate, and Chief Meteorologist Steve Jervie. Cheated, lied to, or tricked? She's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. A Lakeland veteran found himself caught up in a bureaucratic nightmare. A computer mistake caused him to lose part of his disability benefits. After fighting to correct the mistake for 10 months, he knew he'd better call Banking. This man has tried to fix this on his own, like you said, since January. But after I reached the right people, problem solved. Michael Stevens, a veteran, is finally finished with his battle to regain disability benefits that were wrongfully cut. It took 10 months and a little Better Call Banking intervention. I don't know who you talk to, but I want their number. <laughs> Three days after he called me for help, the VA deposited every penny into his bank account. You know, I got the letter in January, and here we are in November, and it's just now getting fixed. Michael's problem started in January when he says the VA notified him that since his daughter was turning 18 years old in March, his benefits would be cut. But the VA had the wrong age. 16, not 18. Don't want to rush that. Michael tells me he notified the VA of the error and even sent in his daughter's birth certificate. Each month he called the VA and then he turned the fight over to me. I called the VA to get answers, and the next day, the VA called Michael with an apology. It was all because of this, doing what you did. So are you glad you called me? Yes, ma'am. In addition to the back pay, Michael tells me he has been assured that this is corrected, so his next benefit check should be correct, too. In the studio, I'm Shannon Bankin, 8 on your side. Max Defender 8, the most advanced weather radar in Florida, sponsored by Farrah and Farrah. A dry atmosphere, dry up above, too, so nothing in the way of precipitation. We might, I can't rule out a small shower chance perhaps inland, but as we work our way throughout the day and uh, certainly for tomorrow, our forecast will continue to call for lots of sunshine across the area and a drier atmosphere overall. There's that drier air aloft at the moment. Another cold front's set to move through here later on Sunday, so there is some extra clouds expected for that day, but really, up until that point, we're running temperatures above normal, but still very nice weather overall. A warm morning for us. No rain around the area. Light winds. Drier conditions for us as well. And then as we get into Sunday, you can see above normal temperatures uh, with the flow coming in here from the east and southeast. Not much rain. A mild start to the day. And again in the afternoon, our temperatures will probably be fairly warm and humidity relatively high. Our virtual heart walk forecast headed out tomorrow at 9 a.m. 72 degrees at 11 a.m. 80. 82 degrees at 1 p.m. warm and staying dry with a light breeze, patchy clouds and comfortable. Our high res forecast model here for the short term. Pretty quiet. I said just a slight possibility seeing a sprinkle here or there. That's around Saturday at 3 a.m. Stronger easterly flow sometimes drives a few clouds and showers into the interior. I uh, got a few clouds here too. A little bit of a breeze here at Lakeland Hyundai, 74 degrees. The current temperature there, 78 degrees at the Mosaic site in Duet. Partly cloudy skies should set up a very nice sunset at this location. 73 degrees and clear in St. Petersburg at our California Closets location. A beautiful view there of the downtown area. Our mugginess forecast again dries out as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. These are dew point temperatures dropping in the 50s, so that'll mean it'll feel cooler in the overnight and the morning hours and the evening hours too. Northeast winds at 10 knots, seas 1 to 2, a light chop bay waters for your weekend. And there's your tides at St. Pete Pier and your forecast here for the evening above normal, 72 at 7 a.m., 71 degrees, then at noon, 80. More sunshine in the forecast for tomorrow. We're currently 74 in Newport Ritchie, 77 degrees in Lakeland, 77 Bartow, Winter Haven, 80 in Sarasota, Wachula, and Sebring. Our dew point temperatures too, upper 60s, low 70s, so you're probably feeling the humidity, but that'll still set up a mild and pleasant evening. Uh, USF in Houston, in Houston, Texas at 3 p.m., 79 degrees, 75, 73. Not too bad overall. Arkansas and Florida in Gainesville, 7 p.m., 71 degrees, pleasant, mild temperatures, few clouds, partly cloudy and cooling and uh, very pleasant weather conditions, good football weather. FSU and NC State in Raleigh, North Carolina, mostly clear, cool, chilly conditions with a few clouds, cool temps there. And in Blacksburg, Virginia, Miami, playing Virginia Tech, 50s. That's pretty good to get some sunshine, great football afternoon weather. And then for Orlando, 
Uh, Temple plays UCF 74 degrees, 71, and then 70. And of course, the Bucks game on Sunday at 1 p.m., 70 degrees under partly cloudy skies with a 20% chance of seeing showers develop. That's, of course, Sunday at 1 o'clock. Eight day forecast temps in the 80s, warm until that cold front comes through early next week, and that will help to cool us down. Deanne? I'm Deanne King with tomorrow's traffic tonight. Happy Friday, everyone. Yes, we made it to the weekend. And I have the heads up for my folks in Wesley Chapel that could impact your morning commute and your nightly commute all week next week. So the State Road 56 ramp to I-75 northbound will be closed. That closure begins on Monday. It'll carry out until Thursday. And the closures will take place from 9 o'clock p.m. until 5 o'clock in the morning. So you have a couple of alternate routes. Your eastbound detour. If you're heading eastbound along State Road 56, you can then make that left turn onto Bruce B. Downs Boulevard and then hop onto I-75 northbound from Wesley Chapel Boulevard. Your westbound detour, if you're heading westbound along State Road 56, go ahead and make that right turn onto Wesley Chapel Boulevard. Then you can also hop onto I-75 northbound from there. Other than that, enjoy your weekend, drive safely, and I'll see you next week. I'm Deanne King with tomorrow's Traffic Tonight. One thing Steve Jervie forgot to tell you about. Yeah, yeah, snow, Steve. Steve, the snow is coming to Tampa's West Chase neighborhood. Not Mother Nature's doing, though, so we'll give you a pass on this one. The West Chase Community Development District has approved the purchase of a snow machine for the West Park Village Bell Tower. That snow machine will be used to make artificial snow during events celebrating the holiday season. So we're gonna we're gonna let Steve slide on that. They didn't see. Now listen, 2020, you had me there for a second. I was like, <laughs> it's snow possible. What? It is huh? 2020. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We'll still ahead. Free food for a year. We'll tell you where the giveaway is happening right here in the Bay Area. Also ahead tonight, PayPal making a policy change. We'll tell you what it is accepting in addition to cash. And a reminder, the 2020 Virtual Heart Walk is tomorrow, and there's still time to donate or join our team. Tech Data Cisco is matching the first $25,000 we raise, so every dollar you donate today is doubled. It's simple to donate and join our team. Just go to WFLA.com slash heartwalk. Max Defender 8 Weather is sponsored by the personal injury law firm of Culpepper Curland. No matter what size adventure you're into, the award-winning family of Hyundai SUVs has something that'll make everyone happy. We get it. That's a lot to drool over. Hyundai. The longer you look, the more there is to like. Now, get 0% APR financing on select models from Hyundai's award-winning family of SUVs. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Assembling foundation can devastate the value of your home or business. If you notice exterior cracks in brick or stucco, cracks in drywall, sloping floors, or a slab that has shifted and settled, don't wait. Call Ramjack for affordable and custom solutions for foundation damage. Ramjack can install our patented foundation piles to stop damaging settlement or provide foam injection services to lift and restore slabs and concrete. When it comes to your home's foundation, rely on the experts. Rely on Ramjack. I'm Frank Fernandez. Some lawyers want you to believe bigger is better and then assign your case to a paralegal or an associate. Not our firm. We have over 25 years of trial experience and have won over $100 million for our clients. At the Fernandez firm, we want to win.com. Morgan & Morgan is not only America's largest injury firm, we're also a 21st century law firm. With technology and remote resources, you can now sign up and stay in touch from home. Wherever you are, whatever you need, there's only one Morgan & Morgan. These days, while a lot of furniture companies scramble for inventory and customers wait, Rooms to Go is ahead of the curve. We took a risk, ordered massive amounts very early, and now we're loaded with great looking furniture ready to deliver now. No waiting, 10,000 pieces arriving every day. We've unloaded thousands of trailers. Furniture inventory, staged, routed, delivered fast as plums. From warehouse to your house. That service. That's who we are. That's Rooms to Go. Rooms to Go delivers. For FAS Windows and Doors, doing the right thing is the only way we do business. With over 12,000 jobs completed, it's reliable, honest service that defines us. We start with an education-style approach when determining the best solution for your home, providing both impact and non-impact products backed by lifetime warranties. Our number one priority is to keep customers informed from the first call through our one-year anniversary service after the job is complete, because that's what a leader does. Schedule your complimentary in-home consultation or stop by our showroom, Trust the Leader, FAS. It's still hard to find a spot, just easier to park. 
Still the big move, just more moving. Still singing, just more in tune. Still the gang's all here, just less are we there yet. The Chevy family of SUVs, making life's journey just better. Now during the Chevy Cyber Sales event, use $500 Cyber Cash on most SUV models to get $5,250 total cash allowance on most 2020 Equinox models. Visit ChevyCyberSalesEvent.com today. Millions of TikTok users will be happy to hear this. The Commerce Department says it won't enforce an order that would have forced the video sharing app to shut down. This decision comes a month after a federal judge in Philadelphia issued an injunction. That judge ruled the government likely overstepped its authority in trying to ban transactions on this platform. The Justice Department is appealing the ruling. PayPal now allowing users in the United States to buy, sell, and hold cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin in their accounts. The company says it'll be expanding the feature to Venmo and will let people use cryptocurrency to make online purchases starting early next year. Who doesn't like free food? And how about if the offer is good for a year? It's happening this weekend at a local Wendy's. The fast food chain is opening a new location tomorrow. It's on U.S. Highway 301 in Riverview. To celebrate, starting at 6.30 a.m., the first 100 cars to make a purchase in the drive through will receive a coupon booklet to redeem a free breakfast sandwich every week through November 2021. And if that's too early for you, the new Wendy's will also be offering a free small Frosty with any purchase all day tomorrow, Saturday. I do not get compensated by Wendy's for making this free publicity. But if you're in Riverview and you're nearby, it's, it's worth a stop. Even a if you frosty, go get up early, I'll take that frosty sandwich. at any time. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, what do we got coming up at 530? Let's go to Josh to find out. My stomach gets compensated on that deal all day long. <laughs> all right, guys, still ahead, Disney losses. We're going to tell you how much money the entertainment giant says it lost so far this year and the encouraging signs officials at Disney World are reporting. Also ahead, an update on the cruise industry and a sick ship that is already on the water. I've met my share of killers. Bang, bang. But not one like Elizabeth. I'm gonna take you down. She's quite determined. We'll have to be as well. Dateline tonight. From dental hygienist to the FBI's most wanted list. The woman behind a deadly plot and the detective on her trail. You never know where you're gonna find that smoking gun. An all-new Dateline tonight, 9, 8 central. As this year comes to an end and we celebrate the holidays, Ed Morse is here to back you and your vehicle just like always. We have you covered with discounts up to $16,000. And remember, you're always backed by Morse. Your news every hour in primetime is on News Nation on WGN America. With no pundits, no spin, only facts. News Nation brought you trusted election coverage. New information from election officials. That could be critical here. With continuous live reports from key states and up to the minute vote counts. News Nation covers your nation every night, 8 to 11, on WGN America. Find WGN America on Spectrum Channel 1018, Direct TV 307, and Dish Channel 239. Imagine life in that, that, or that. Having zero stress. Wasting zero energy worrying. Zero days wanting less seats, more seats, and zero regrets. Imagine that. Zero reasons not to get into a Volkswagen, especially now that you can start shopping from home. Click, call, or come by today. Visit our Volkswagen sign and drive event and lease a 2020 T1 S today with zero down, zero deposit, zero first month's payment, and zero to its signing. Morgan & Morgan is not only America's largest injury firm, we're also a local law firm. Visit our new branch office in your community. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Black Friday used to be one day. Kane's Furniture is making it the whole month. Go to Kane'sFurniture.com. Save 50% on daily door busters. Plus, get 20% off store-wide. Or no interest for 60 months on everything in-store and online. All with free no-contact delivery to your door. Don't miss our biggest savings of the year. Hurry to Kane's Furniture now. The unknown is not empty. It's a storm that crashes and consumes, replacing thought with worry. But one thing can calm uncertainty, an answer. Uncovered through exploration, teamwork, and innovation. 
An answer that leads to even more answers. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. We've given you the reasons, and we've shown you that we back all our customers when they need us most. And now we have your back more than ever, with no payments and